it is the color of Mexico. It is the color of Mexico at the time, and still Mexico, if you go to Oaxaca or you go to Puebla, you still see that kind of rich, vital color. And we really wanted that. The production designer, Felipe Fernandez, and, and uh, Rodrigo Prieto, who is the DP, they do bring a lot. It's their culture. When I move into another culture, I want to be there. I don't want to bring everything and just plunk it down and take over. I don't think that's a good way to work. When there's such talent there, why not use it? Felipe Fernandez knew who to gather. He knew the, the Judas makers. Those are those giant paper mache puppets. He knew how to create the period look. He understands it. I do think there is an advantage being an outsider sometimes to go in and look at another culture because sometimes you appreciate something that inside the culture they'd take for granted. So there's a wonderful collision that happens in the collaboration when you do that. 95% of our crew was Mexican, and it was a joyous experience. This is theirs. It wasn't us coming down and making just a gringo adaptation of this, of this story. I do think Frida and Diego belong to the world. And if you look at the cast, you've got people from all over the place. And when you've got Trotsky and Rockefeller and T Tina Madotti, there, it is a very international group of people. Mexico at that time was so vital as well, such an incredible. So open, remarkable. So open, it was the avant-garde, it was the, the, the creme de la creme of the artists came, were the exiles and the politics. So it's a very um, cosmopolitan film in that way.